Welcome back to our special extended coverage of the 2024 Iowa caucuses. While Republicans make their choice for president, Democrats are also caucusing. I'm now joined by the chair of the Iowa Democratic Party, Rita Hart. First of all, thank you so much for being here with us today. Uh, Rita, tonight's going to look different for Democrats. You're still planning the caucus, but it will be uh, for party business only. What can Democrats expect and what are you hoping to get out of tonight? So Democrats who have been doing this a long time know exactly what the, what's going to happen tonight. It's the same thing that happens every two years. We have a caucus and, and we get a little more attention on a presidential year, but um, the same process is going to take, take place tonight that always does. We, we get our party business taken care of. Um, we will elect our, our local county representatives. We will elect our delegates to the, um, to the conventions. And we will be submitting and voting on our, our um, um, platform resolutions. And so um, it's also a time, just like always, to get together with our friends, our neighbors, uh, our fellow Democrats, and have good conversations about what we need to be doing from now until November to get more Democrats elected. All right, so fight, fight through the cold, get together, and kind of like you said, tackle the party business. Uh, uh, this year, as far as uh, uh, nominating a, you know, a, a president, Iowa Democrats will uh, send in presidential preference cards instead of, again, uh, doing that tonight. Um, what has the response been like uh, to this so far, uh, and how many people have actually uh, requested those cards? So it is, it's a new, it's a change, right? And so changes um, always uh, come with some education. And so sure. we've been doing a good, uh, doing as much as we can to explain this process. But I do think that people um, tend to not pay attention until until they've, they've been prompted or prodded. And so, so tonight's caucus, I think, is going to be a, a good um, stimulus for that. But I would tell you that over the last week or so, we've, we've gotten a lot of response. And so um, we've gotten a big surge in the numbers of people that have requested these presidential um, caucus, the, the presidential preference uh, cards. And so um, we're, we're pleased with uh, the thousands that have already been, been um, returned as a request for, um, for their presidential cards. President Biden is, of course, the presumptive nominee for, for the Absolutely. Democrats. But looking ahead to the 2028 race, that, that won't be the case. Uh, what do you expect the caucuses to look like then? And will Iowa still have a chance to be first in the nation? It will be a much more competitive process in 2028. And we've kept that in mind as we've had these conversations with the DNC all along, knowing that this time, when you have an incumbent president, it looks much different. And so, um, so we're excited about the fact that, um, that the DNC has given us every assurance that we have an opportunity to um, be part of that conversation again to get back into the first tier, in, in, back to first in the nation. So um, we've, been, we've been having those conversations with the DNC, um, and I think that people understand, Democrats understand, that, that this time we know who our nominee is going to be, but we are starting now on the process to uh, make sure that, that we are doing everything we can to elect more Democrats. And, to, and we'll see how this process works out, especially, I think, in light of this, this uh, very cold weather event um, that could have really negatively affected participation. We know that we are having the most inclusive Democratic caucus that we've ever had, that people who have never been able to participate before will be able to get their voices heard in this presidential selection process. And that's gonna be even more important and more true in 2028. So even if we're able to restore first in the nation status here in Iowa, uh, it could be through the, the presidential preference card that that is something that could stay around? That's absolutely true, yeah. Okay. Um, the Democrats will make their nominee for president tonight here in Iowa, excuse me, the Republicans will make their <laughs> um, nominee tonight for president in Iowa. Um, how will uh, the Democrats react to that? Is it something to where uh, once that decision is made, you guys hit the ground running, or is there a plan of attack for November already in the works? You know, I think it's very clear that no matter who comes out of this caucus on the Republican side, this is a, this is a, uh, a, a candidate who is very much out of sync with Iowa values, um, that they are very much on the extreme side of, of their, their party. And so Democrats recognize that um, we've got, our job is to make sure that people understand that, that President Bo Joe Biden has done so many good things for this nation and for this state that more than a billion dollars is coming into Iowa and is translating into projects 
all across the state, especially in our smaller towns, that this is that that he is building an economy from the bottom up and the and the middle out, as he says. And it's and it's so important for us to uh, make sure that people get some more balance to our government here in the state of Iowa. We have seen an extreme Republican agenda that has resulted in some very unpopular decisions. Things like taking away women's rights to, their, to the decisions that they make um, uh, uh, concerning their own bodies. Decisions like um, banning books. Decisions like um, taking public dollars that should be going to public education that we value and take such pride in the state of Iowa and shifting that over to a private education system. These are things that are not popular with the state of Iowa. They are out of sync and we have got to get balance back in the state of Iowa by electing more Democrats. All right, and finally, what is your message to your party tonight? We're looking forward to a great caucus um, experience as always. You know, I'm really grateful to our volunteers and to the many people that are doing all the hard work, our staff that's doing the hard work to make these very successful. Um, and um, recognize that the weather is uh, challenging all of us um, and that everyone has to has to use good judgment, um, just like always. You know, Iowans are, are used to the cold weather. They're used to um, weather events. Um, and so I think it goes without saying that they will do what's right for themselves and, their, and uh, for their loved ones. And so, but regardless, the hard work of organizing and getting ready for, for November is going to take place and we are ready to go do that. Okay, Rita, we hope uh, members of both parties are safe as they go out to caucus right. tonight. Uh, we certainly appreciate the time today and we'll be right back.